Hi, my name is Teresa Lorenco and Tebby. I am currently five and a half months pregnant with my third child. I want to talk about my first trimester and what I've gone through my first trimester. My first trimester, I was pretty tired um, for the first couple of weeks, not really knowing that I was pregnant for the first couple of weeks. Um, still practicing yoga every day, eating healthy, but my appetite was really low. I think about by week eight, I started to get my appetite back and I started getting a burst of energy to practice my regular yoga practice. Before that, I was practicing, but really tired. So starting from eight weeks on, I continued practicing every single day. And my diet in the beginning in the first trimester was probably just fruits. I ate a lot, a lot, a lot of fruits because that's all I wanted and all I could really tolerate. Not that I went through any kind of morning sickness or nauseous, nauseousness. I just, I, I don't know, I just felt like just eating fruits. And I had a ton of fruits in the first trimester. Um, my weight gain wasn't really anything at that point, I was 119 pounds at the beginning of my pregnancy, and it stayed that way up until I was, in fact, probably until I was eight weeks or nine weeks pregnant. And I started to slowly gain some weight because my appetite came back around eight weeks. Uh, starting around eight weeks, I continued to eat my fruits and my smoothies, and I just started eating a lot of salads, and I would play around with vegan proteins with my salads, which I didn't really handle that well. So I played around with it, but kind of stopped. Overall, my diet so far from my first trimester going into the second trimester has been a lot of fruits, smoothies, green juices, ginger shots, lots of raw nuts, raw butters, a lot of greens, I have a preference for salads, overcooked foods, but I will eat the cooked foods, especially when I'm with my children, because they tend to like baked, baked winter vegetables and just baked vegetables. So I'll have with them a few of the baked winter vegetables, like sweet potatoes, sometimes white potatoes, but they're baked. Um, but overall, it's a lot of salad, fruit, nuts, seeds, my protein shakes, coconuts, coconut meat love coconut water when I'm pregnant. I practice yoga every single day. Sometimes I have a day off, probably on a full moon, I'll take a day off if my teacher's not teaching. But generally, I practice every day, even when kids are with me, I wake up early before they wake up, and I practice my regular yoga practice, which is a mixture of Ashtanga yoga, Hatha yoga, sometimes Bikram, I was in the hot room. I started going into the hot room when I was three months pregnant. I waited until it was three months. And I would do it just once a month, not really that often. Um, that's it so far. But overall, I feel really good. I've been really full of energy, active. I've not lost my strength. I feel healthy. My weight gain so far, I am now five and a half months, and I have gained 13 pounds so far. Apparently, I have a big baby, <laughs> which you can't see right now, but I have a big baby. She, at our 20-week scan, I decided not to do ultrasounds. I only did one ultrasound at 20 weeks. It's called the anatomy scan, where they measure everything. They measure all the body parts and just measure to just everything and to just make sure the baby's healthy that all the organs are fine and the fingers are there the toes are there the eyes are properly formed the nose is properly formed so all that stuff so i did that at 20 weeks and at my 20 week scan she weighed in 14 ounces which is five ounces over the average weight an average baby at 20 weeks weighs nine to ten ounces um so it goes to show on a plant-based diet you can grow a healthy baby and my midwife, oh, let's talk about my midwife. I am using the same midwife that I had with my son. Um, her name is Cara Muhan, and she was amazing. She was super chilled throughout my whole pregnancy with my son. And, 
you know, she was very open about my diet. She never criticized my plant-based diet. And I continued having a plant-based diet with my son. I was pretty much raw with my son for 85%. I ate similar the way I eat now, um, like I did with my son. That's why I probably thought I was having a boy, which I'm not, I'm having a girl. And we delivered him in the water. And this is what I plan on doing again with my little baby girl. And the plan is to have my husband catch the baby for the first time. So he's never caught a baby, even though he has kids. So I want him to catch the baby because so far with both my other children, I caught the baby and delivered the baby with my own hands, obviously with the guidance of a midwife. And that's the plan for this to this home birth again, to just do it home with my husband, with my midwife, no doula, and doing it in the bathtub again. This is my second time doing it in a bathtub. And just, you know, full of candles, dimmed lights, just a relaxing way of giving birth. Thank you. Um, I'm going to end it now. Great. Do I just press end? Yes. I don't want to press anything. Perfect. It's so unprepared.